You could have policy and procedures, board level reports. For marketing and sales, you have messages, campaigns, items sold. For software, why not, right? We have the software increment, maybe even several of them. You know, we have front end, uh, back end, uh, databases or so. Then we have infrastructure, then we have one or more types of documents. So you can build agile management into any one of the activities. We have a Scrum board similar to the traditional Scrum board in Scrum, where we have just the vision, we populated with the things that we want to do. And then just as usual, we have not selected work in progress and done. But now everything that you do is visible in the canvas. So a couple of friends of mine started doing this thing in Chicago for software development. Their words, not mine, Enterprise Scrum makes everything visible. What do you review in a sprint review? Typically, the requirements are met. When is it important to review architecture or infrastructure? Maybe sometimes. Who has done something like that in Scrum where you say, well, maybe it's important to review the architecture? or the infrastructure. So here you can review everything that is important and improve everything that is important. So if you don't need to improve architecture infrastructure, well, it's optional, but it's always there visible. Let's talk a little bit about the flexible scaling, not only for agile activities. So we have four structural patterns, centralized coach and business owner centralized only product owner or business owners, collaboration of what we call potluck scaling, that's our signature pattern, and that's what really really changes our scaling from other types of um, scalings. And we have now a coordinator or someone that is, has a centralized mode. We also have different collaboration modes, so we have not only centralized, like who of you guys does safe or less? Yes. That's only centralized, right? We also have not only centralized, we have delegated and collaboration. Let me try to explain this because that's really our signature pattern. Let's assume that you have a portfolio of 30 applications. Is there anyone at any company that knows that much to give direction in a centralized way to 30 applications that are scaled out of a platform? No way. What we do then is we make what we call an agreement through collaboration at, among the people that participate in the portfolio. All right, so you're gonna bring the salad, you're gonna bring the spaghetti, Linda, right? Uh, you're gonna bring the, Anil, you're gonna bring the dessert, I'm gonna bring the soda. When are we going in for the release, Mike? May 1st. So all of us agree to bring this stuff, right? We make agreements across the people that own the portfolio, and that way you can scale across very many applications. This is how we did the scaling at CBS Caremark. Again, it's still going strong after 17 years. The people that tell you that things cannot be scaled because they haven't done it, right? We also have different contract types, fixed day, fixed price, time materials, cost calls, and operations for scaling. We also have different delivery modes, continuous deployment, continuous delivery cycle and release. So you can do even continuous deployment in one of the configurations. Obviously you need to have the appropriate engineering techniques to get there. Things like SAFE have multi-month releases. If you want to be the Amazon of your industry, SAFE is not gonna get you there. <laughs> less is a lot better, less is actually Scrum, right? And so, Less will get you there because they have at least cycle level releases. That's much more agile and much more precise according to what we do in Scrum. Here you can also do continuous deployment, right? So they may take it one step further. But you can also do large projects, programs, or multidisciplinary programs. We're just talking here in our business analytics class how you can coordinate the releases of marketing and sales. 
product development, operations, and maybe the customer service, and deploy a new business model in production with a multidisciplinary program. You can also do portfolios, and then typically we build the enterprise architecture based on local portfolios, right? So this offers you a lot more choices <coughs> than just centralized control and releases, right? So what has happened in the industry, we have oversimplified the scaling options, and you essentially get a very, very thin thought of what is possible. The some of us that have been doing this for a while know that many other possibilities are possible. Here's just the graphical way to do the, um, the structures. <coughs> 